Hello everybody. I am a software engineer of 15 years turned uh, hardware hobbyist and I'm going to show you, this is one of these um, SMD training kit practice boards. So I'm going to show you with the worst equipment possible how you can make a really good solder. And I've only been doing this for a couple of weeks. I watched a ton of other YouTube videos. I've tried out some things myself just trying to figure out how, you know, how what's some good best practices for soldering. So I'm going to take this little chip here and you're going to notice there's a little dot there. It's going to line up with that dot there. This board doesn't actually do anything. It's it's solely for testing. And as you can see, there's like there's just weird stuff going on here. Like it looks like there's some sort of maybe corrosion already on these contacts. And then um, let me show you. This is the worst soldering iron in the world probably. Got a nasty glob of uh, horribly oxidized solder that's been sitting on there for like five minutes and this is even at the lowest temperature setting on this thing and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this off I'm gonna wet it with some some good solder but let me let me get the solder that's on here off so you can see just how thick this tip is because this is not a thin tip let's see give me just a moment here oh my gosh this thing's kinda hot so um, you can see just how big that tip is in relation to the little legs coming out of here. Let me see if I can get it a little bit better angle. And you can see it's already oxidizing. Oh my goodness, this thing's terrible. So this kit, what it came with is probably um, the worst flux in the whole world. Uh, where did it go? I had it out here earlier. And, oh, I put it, Put it back in the box so there's this thing oh it's too big you won't be able to see it all right uh, yeah it's just like this solid rosin so i'm gonna i'm gonna take it out of this box because there's there's no way to use it in the box so this is like flux paste except it's just a big hard chunk of rosin which is what flux is made of so i'm gonna move this this bad boy out of the way and i'm actually just gonna I'm just going to take a corner of this thing and scrape it across the board and you're going to see some white residue there. That's that's the, the rosin. So I'm going to I'm just going to do it on this side for now cuz I I think I'll I'll do another video and show some other tricks and tips. But I've got that on there now. It makes it a little harder to see where the lines are, but I can use the other lines on the other side to to help guide me. And then let's see they gave me a little uh, tweezers where the little tweezers go okay so I've got my little tweezers here and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm right-handed so it's a little bit hard to hold things with my left hand but I think I need my dominant hand for the actual soldering so let me just move this over a little bit oh there we go perfect and then I, I guess I need to move it back a little bit so that flux is really important even though it's like the worst possible flux. Um, let, let me see, I'm gonna try with my, my dominant hand here. There we go, that's a little better. A little better. Oh, for some reasons my hands are a little more shaky in the mornings. Anyway, so I'm gonna take, um, you can see here, there is no way, I mean like this solder itself is like twice the size of these pins. So there's no way that I'd, I'd be able to, to like finally solder this. I mean, you, you can just see from the dimensions here, this is, you know, this is a no, not a good story. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna wet this a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's smoking so bad. The heat control on this thing is just terrible. I'm, I'm actually gonna, let's see, wet a little. Oh, you should just see how bad this is. Oh my goodness, the smoke is just insane. And then I'm also I'm gonna clean it up because with something this bad, it it helps to uh, and I've just got a little sponge that it's on. It helps to wet a little and clean a little and then wet a little again so you get you get good wetness. All right, now I don't know if uh, if these if these tweezers are really gonna do the trick for me, but we'll try it out. All right, I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna drag along these leads. So there we go. Boom. Oh, that looks terrible. Look at that. Oh. That's, that's, uh, that's no bueno right there. Everything is bridged. Let me try to clean this a little more. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with this 
just how bad it is. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna we got everything bridged there. This is like the worst possible scenario. It's okay. I'm gonna come back with more of this flux. Oh yeah, that's still a little warm, so this kind of actually melted a little. All right, so now we've got plenty of flux there, or rather just raw rosin, not even flux per se, but it's gonna work just fine. And then watch this. Boom, almost cleaned it up perfectly. It's amazing. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give it one more pass. Clean the tip a little bit there. Oh, my sponge. Oh, wow. Okay, and since I got a lot of the flux there, I'm just going to start from this side and move right along. Oh, come on, this last one's got to, it's got to give. There we go, almost. Come on, buddy. Drag it down just a little. It's almost there. Let me try the, the fine side of the tip. Oh, and I'll actually use the camera since it's magnifying a lot more than what I can see with my, my naked eye. Okay, it looks like, looks like it's already burned off everything. So I'm gonna give it, let's see. I've got a lot of extra flux right here. Let's see if I can just get that on the tip here. And then, nope. We're going to do one more pass on this. Oops, sorry, my camera's being held by the most janky setup. It's just my phone. And I, I've got it pretty close to the board, and so I had to do this really janky setup to get it so I can get my hands underneath and still do this. But it's a lot easier than using a tripod like other people do in their videos. They always complain about it. All right, it might be time to bust out the solder wick. Now this is going to be darn near impossible. Let's see. They gave me a set. They gave me some solder wick and they gave me a set of little clippers. Where did those little clippers go? I think I might have them in the other room. So maybe we'll just try without for the moment. All right. So what I need to do then. Sorry for the shakiness. See if I can get this on the braid and on that chip a little. There we go. And we're just gonna wick it right off. Come on. How hot! Ooh, that, that transferred heat fast to my finger on the other end of that there. Okay, but the good news is. Wow, did that come from that? Was that, already, was that already there? I think that, that came from, yeah, because my finger was over here on this end. That heat transferred so quick through that copper. Okay, cool. All right, there we go. Look at that, that's just beautiful. Let me move some of this crap out of the way. All right, there we are. I don't ever want to do that again. But, but that's just to show that using the cheapest, crappiest is like only using tools from a $20 kit on Amazon. So I mean like there you're paying for the prime shipping as well. So it's only like probably a $15 kit if I were to get it on eBay or something. Um, now I'm gonna take this, this is just a, some Kleenex, probably not the best tool for the job. Um, but I've just got it soaked in 91% isopropyl alcohol and uh, not soaked enough. It's actually been sitting there for a minute. But I'm going to clean this up. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I keep the alcohol down by my feet um, rather than up by the other things because alcohol, it turns out, catches on fire. And so I'm actually going to move this iron a little bit further away just because this alcohol is nice and wet and alcoholic. There we go. Ta-da! And then I'm gonna get that little tiny piece out of the way. 
Come on, buddy. What are you doing there? Oh, was that a trace? I think that was a trace. It's, what is going on there? Let me, let me actually get a little bit of solder on this thing. It's just so hard to use it. Like, you're supposed to have a wet tip, but because this is just a terrible tip. I mean, this is just a terrible iron. Yeah, I think... Um, Oh man, I'm just in no man's land now. Let me, let me try to clean this up. It's gonna smooth out just beautifully. There we go, look at that. There we go, other than that one trace. There we go. Look at that magic. Magic. I'm going to just drag it out this way to smooth those out a little bit more. If I can. Oh, no. All the resin's burned up. Okay. So, I don't recommend using the cheapest, crap, crappiest possible tools. But I did just show you there with... The thickest solder I have, the thickest solder head I have, the worst iron that has the worst temperature variance, and uh, a crappy board that was probably already oxidized before um, I even picked it up, we managed to, uh, to get some very fine pitch components on a board. The key is flux, or rather rosin that's really what it is two more things real quick one uh it seems like and i could be wrong here but pure glycerin seems to have almost as good of effect of an effect as pure rosin so if you're in a pinch you can actually just pick up a bottle of that down at walmart in the health and beauty section um and also i wanted to zoom out just a bit so you can see relatively what the size of these things we're actually working with has been. So uh, if you liked it, then, you know, do the likey thing and also subscribe if you want to see more. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I know not to waste my time on this crap, but it doesn't matter. I'm probably going to do it anyway. Das Vidanya.